I think in the past year, we have experienced a number of challenges as a business. We've had the challenge of COVID and we had to really learn and set up systems and processes to become agile to keep our people safe and keep our business going through this period of time. I think it was important for us to recognise that we are protecting lives and livelihoods in the process of working through, through COVID. I think we've also seen some significant operational challenges in this period of time. And I think this is where um, it is really exciting to think about the teams of people who we're working with. If we consider the operational challenges that we've had last year, how our teams is engaged with being agile, using technology and really focusing on the safety performance during this period and helping us to recover um, our operational performance while keeping our business now for 12 months, our own operations, vital free, which is a big target for us um, as a company. I think the other challenges that we need to consider is we are working in an industry that's got a limited resource. And despite all of these challenges that we're working and that we had to, to work through, we continue to make progress on really working on the efficiency at which we extract value from our ore bodies. And I think it's important to consider that the extraction of this value isn't only around the financial benefit to our stakeholders, but it's truly a balanced value between our financial um, stakeholders, shareholders, as well as society. I think we've, we've spoken about how the team and how the asset that we have is really pivotal in our success. I think we need to just quickly consider where we came from. The team who came before us set up this business as a much simpler business. It is a restructured business and we now have a number of high quality assets that doesn't only have more than a 50 year life, but it also has a suite of products that will allow us to play into any greener future. I think if we consider that with the amazing team of people we have, standing back to our purpose of reimagining mining to improve people's lives. I think it is really pivotal and leading in the mining industry to rethink what the purpose of mining is. And that purpose has led us through this period of COVID as well. I remember that last year when we had to take a decision on stopping, um, well, we didn't take a decision, we were forced to stop all of our operations. But thinking through how we set up our operations, looking after lives and livelihoods, guided through our purpose of reimagining uh, mining to improve people's lives. We've not once had a real conversation around do we have enough money to do this despite huge uncertainty in the business. We've taken the right decision, we've looked after every one of our colleagues at work and I think in the process we've set ourselves up to be truly successful and deliver this balanced value to all of our stakeholders. I think the South African business climate is being seen as quite complex and uncertain. If we think about the questions our investors continuously ask us, it, are, it would be questions around policy certainty, it would be questions around energy um, reliability, it would be questions around how do we create a sustainable societal environment, both economically and politically, for us to be successful um, in our business. Our approach to this is collaborative. I think col collaborating with the, the rest of the private sector, collaborating with government, with organised labour and with society. To understand how we for starters play a role in moving forward what the economic recovery in, in the country and all of those aspects of around policy certainty um, comes to play. How do we engage with government to drive that forward? I think there's an important role that we're playing in engaging with our communities. And we've learned quite a number of important lessons over many years in, in how we engage with our communities. How do we truly listen, truly understand what they see as, as what sustainable livelihoods mean to them. Again, in the spirit of collaboration, really taking those views on board. 
then closer to home, ensuring that we continue to maximise value out of our um, own assets. Because it doesn't matter how complex or uncertain the, the environment might be that we operate in, it's important for us to set up our business with a very stable foundation to weather any storm around us while collaborating with all of our stakeholders. I think to run a really successful company, it's important to have the right team on board. A team with the right capacity and capability to identify the challenges and the opportunities and set up a business for success. Secondly, we obviously need the right assets. And as I've referred to a little bit earlier, we are blessed to really have the world's best platinum assets with an integrated value chain that really gives us an opportunity to play into any future market. I think it's important to have a culture that creates an environment where every colleague can come to work every day doing his or her best work. And in the combination of this, I believe that we can take on any challenge to continue to um, live our purpose of reimagining mining to improve people's lives. I think Anglo Platinum, our assets, our people and our products, has got a real role to play in the future of a better, greener and healthier future. Our product suite is a very young suite of products if you consider it in the bigger scheme of commodities. And it's got very unique um, capabilities and characteristics that plays into the world of the greener, green economy. I think with the assets we have, continuing to be at uh, the bottom end of the cost curves, of the cost curve, we will ensure that our asset remains sustainable through any cycle. With the people we have, our breakthrough thinking, the technology available to us, we will not only continue to develop the market our products can play in, but we will continue to play a fundamental role in a greener and a healthier future.